Hi, this is Mark coming to you from Physical Love Eversville. This is my son-in-law, Matt. Today, what we're going to demonstrate to you is a quick mobility assessment before you get out there and start running. All runners should have the amount of ability, or mobility that we're going to demonstrate today, and here's how you can assess it. So Matt, if you will, stand sideways, please. First one, put your feet a little bit closer to the shoulder width apart, pointed, uh, feet pointed straight ahead, and you're going to just squat straight down, keeping your heels on the floor and letting your knees come out past your toes. If you have enough ankle mobility, your heels should stay on the floor and your knee should come out past the end of your toes, which Matt has. If you don't have that, you need to work on your ankle mobility. Part two, you've got to have enough mobility in your big toe to be able to take your foot over it as you are running. So have a seat if you would, Matt, please. And what you'll do is you'll keep your heel and all the balls of your feet on the floor. Bend over, grab your big toe and pulling up, pull it up, and it should be able to come approximately three and a half to four inches off the floor if you've got enough big toe mobility. That can be a big problem if you don't because it will alter your mechanics. Number three, you've got to be able to have enough mobility through your hip to be able to run. So Matt, if you would, go into a half medium position, please. So with your right leg behind you. And you can take a stick, put it at your mid-back and at your rear, and you'll have a curve, a space between the low back curve. What you're going to do is pretend like you're trying to pour, empty a cereal bowl by tilting your pelvis backwards and flattening your hip or your lower back against this stick. If you get a, a lot of pulling here or can't do that, you don't have enough hip mobility to be running properly and you need to work on that. And number four, we're going to check hamstrings. Matt, if you would lay on your back there, please. So he'll lay flat. He will interlace his fingers underneath his right knee and he will straighten it as far as he can. And if enough hamstring mobility would be 70 degrees of motion, which Matt has here. That would tell you your hamstrings are loose enough then to start running. So if, you, if you're lacking mobility in any, of those issues, in any of those areas, then you need to get that corrected so you don't cause a running injury. If you have any further questions, contact us at physicalofarisville.com. Thank you.